be making sweater pillows. So start with a couple of old sweaters. I'm actually using this one that I already used when I made my sweater candles, so that's why it's missing its arms already. So I'm just cutting off the bottom half of it just below the arms. I'm gonna save that little piece for some other project. And then this bottom piece that I'm gonna be using for the pillows, I'm cutting that in half because the front and the back are the same design. So I wanna make a set of two matching pillows. I'm taking one of the pieces of sweater and laying it over the pillow that I want to use. I'm just kind of making sure that it's going to fit. I'm going to have to really stretch it out to get it to fit, so these are going to be some very plump pillows. Now I'm taking that piece of sweater and I'm laying it over this flannel that I'm going to be using for the back, and I'm just cutting that out. I'm going to cut it out the same dimensions except five inches longer in one direction. And I fold that piece of fabric in half and cut that down the middle. So now I'm going to have two pieces that are going to make the envelope on the back of my pillow. And then those two edges that are going to overlap over each other, fold those over and hem them. Just about a half inch is good. And so you just want to do a regular straight stitch and just beginning and ending with a back stitch. our pieces into place. So I'm laying down the sweater with the pretty side facing up and then the two backs that are going to envelope over each other. So those are facing down. So pretty sides are facing inward towards each other and then pin everything into place. And so with a regular straight stitch all around the perimeter about a half inch seam allowance is good. When you come to a corner you can just leave your needle down, lift your presser foot, turn your fabric, drop your presser foot, and continue sewing. And then don't forget to finish off with a back stitch to lock the thread into place. To make those corners less bulky, you can just trim off the corners just outside the seam and then trim off any extra sweater bits there might be. Turn your pillow cover right side out, insert your pillow, and you now have a super plush and cozy sweater pillow. Mm -hmm. 